Measure out where we want it. All right, guys, we got the first batch of concrete up here, right there behind us. We're going to put pad right here. How are we gonna pour it? The traditional wet way? No, because we can't get a cement truck up here. We don't have a cement mixer. And that costs a lot of money too. Yeah. And, and we, we like to do things cost efficient as possible as well. Yeah. So everybody's been doing dry concrete for the last couple months down south when it's nice, and we're finally nice enough to start doing stuff like that so we're gonna get rolling put an eight by eight little building here for an entryway for shoes and put some wood in wood there storage and, yeah and uh, it will reduce the dirt getting into the cabin yep this is our strategy this will provide a nice little space it's gonna be like a tiny it's gonna be little building nothing heavy mm -hmm. so just four foot or four inch concrete slab we're gonna frame it in like a traditional stick frame building put a little peak to it put little half walls on it and make it look like a little three seasons room. Yep. I mean, it's not gonna be attached to the cabin. It's gonna be butted right up to the cabin. So we're not gonna like pull all our siding away, but uh, that way we don't have to put like a ledger board and all this other stuff, which is gonna be basically sitting in front of the cabin. So let's get rolling. All right, so now we're gonna level the area. Build the box. Build the box. Then make sure everything's good and level there and see where we're at for the day. over there and push this way a little bit. Literally just give it a little toe cat tap. Give it a little bit more. Okay, okay. This should be right. 118 and a quarter. Perfect. All right. If you guys know what this is, we just got one of these. We built the whole cabin and we just finally got one. There we go. We tapered it quite a bit towards the cabin, or away from the cabin, so it doesn't pull water toward the cabin. Mm -hmm. This side should be exactly the opposite, and the same, but opposite direction. Let's see if this is still okay. Yeah, pretty darn close. 
What well, do we do next, boss? Now we got to uh, rake this ground all flat and even. Yep. So that's the next step is to rake the ground underneath us that the box is all in flat and even. And to make sure any holes here on the sides are filled in with the dirt. That way when we pour the concrete, it doesn't seep out on the sides. So we gotta do... Is it really called pouring if it's just dumping it? I don't know. When we dump the bags of concrete. <laughs> I guess you're you can pour stuff. All right, get out of the way, boss. So. <laughs> Slowing me down, just like every other boss in the world. So, Standing in the let's way. get this leveled out. And because we're here in Northern Michigan and we get a lot of snow, when I emailed Cajun Country Living, they recommended for us to do rebar or the wire mesh underneath it. They didn't have to do it because they don't have to worry about freezing like we do. So we've got some wire mesh we're gonna lay down after the ground's all level. Then we're gonna start our concrete pour. Thank you again, Cajun Country, for responding to our email and giving us a little advice. We probably would have skipped that and then been sad come winter. <laughs> so we appreciate that. What Jenny doesn't realize is that there really are no rules to stuff like this because this isn't the way you're supposed to do it. Rules don't really apply here. Puppy, you're going to have to go up the side door. All right, guys, it's time to start dumping bags of concrete. Wish us luck. We're gonna put probably eight bags in the bottom, so there's about an inch or so, an inch or two of concrete, dry concrete, and then we're gonna put the metal in and then put the rest of the concrete on top. Yep. And we uh, way overestimated how much concrete we need. Uh-huh. So we're either mm -hmm. making a return or we're starting another project. We're doing two of these. We'll yeah. see how see it we turns do. out. Yeah. Aggregate? Huh? I do exposed aggregate? No. Like around pools? No. It look nice. No. Gotta make it flat and pretty. Huh? Okay. We're gonna make it nice and pretty looking. Uh, exposed aggregate's really pretty. That's why they put it around pools. We did the wire mesh because I researched it online and it was way easier than rebar. Rebar would have required a lot more tools. Then we have, they said DIY wires. I'm like, yes, do it this way. So that's why we did it this way. If you're yelling at us in the video right now, telling us it's wrong, they said it was allowed. <laughs> Even though everything we're doing here is, you know, <laughs> not allowed in the concrete world. So I know. <laughs> 
can't really act like there's any real rules or ways of doing this because this is not the legitimate way to do it. So, but it's cool. <laughs> they said it worked. People have dry poured concrete in post holes for a long time, so it's got to work. Just different whether it's going to work real well with this. So, yeah, let's, isn't that what uh, you yeah. do with the deck at home? Just dry poured it and then just poured water in there and yep. call yeah. it a day. You get concrete all over your face, like a big old smudge on your nose. It's so like right here in the crack of your nose, the other side. Yep. <laughs> That's what you're here for. <laughs> so what are we leveling? Just hit the sides of the wood one more time before we get too far along. A smidge. A smidge. Good. Good. All right, that's good. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve more bags. Messiness. I mean, we could be a little more careful, but. All right. How many was in there last time? 12? 13 and 12 is 25. 25 plus 10 is 35. And there's, I guess there's 20 more on there, so I guess I had you. Right. Throw one on top. The first one's the only one that makes a mess. Now it's time for the fancy concrete tool. <laughs> Looks good. The fancy smoother. It helps a lot, actually. Come on. Why is it not spinning? Because it's, it's full of concrete. Now here comes the true test. We've poured it and we've leveled it. And now we have to spray it extremely lightly. Jason. I'll do that. Extremely lightly. I think we're just gonna pour concrete the normal way from now on. This is like the messiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's easier probably. It's all right. We got showers. But it's messy. 
just as a forewarning if you guys are watching this video. It is messy. We are a hot mess. Look at this. Look at I am a mess. I got concrete all over. Hot mess, but hopefully Hopefully this works out like it's supposed to. This is the first of six sprays and he is barely gonna miss it. It looks good. Barely changed colors. That's all you wanted it to do. So according to their video, we gotta do this every hour for the next six hours. So well, I'll show you as it goes. Hopefully this turns out well for us and we'll lead to a nice little room here for firewood and everything else. All right guys, it's been an hour. So that means it's time for the second spring. Missed it again, right? Yep, nice, very light mist the second time around, young man. Just kind of getting it wet again. Nice and clean, <laughs> thanks to indoor water. So this is third coat, guys. We can actually hit it with a little bit of water, I think, right? Yeah. Again, according to what Cajun Country did, and so <laughs> let's hit it. Hopefully this is gonna work out well for us. Yeah, it does look good. So excited. So excited guys, it's gonna be so nice. <gasps> Less dirt in the cabin. Less dirt in the cabin makes for a very happy Jenny. And that's better for our flooring and everything. You just don't want lots of dirt all the time coming in. So, yay! Three more sprays. some water that time so that's good like I said after that one I'll really hit it and it'll as long as it doesn't get too hard on top and then doesn't soak in sink in. right now it's only hard on the very tippy top mm -hmm. I just hope it soaks in next round is all I'm saying hooray all right see you in one more hour for number four <laughs> Spray down number four is complete. We will be back in an hour. All right, guys, this is number five. Almost done. It's getting chilly out. It's been 24 hours since we did the very first spray yesterday. And I'm standing on the concrete. <gasps> Look at that. Not falling through. <laughs> Not squishing through. Can it hold can it hold me and Jason though? That's the real question. Well, I was just gonna say, let's do the true test. <laughs> well, I weigh about twice as much as you, so. <laughs> there we go. Look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. So, I guess uh, 
So far, so good. Dry can creep pour worked well. Yeah, I mean, 24 hours and it's hard. We're not gonna build or put anything on it yet. No, but that'll be a project later. We'll put the step on. We'll put the step back on it tomorrow, and then we'll build the building over it. It's exciting. It'll be cool. We'll have a little. Maybe we'll screen the whole thing in, and then. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what we end up deciding to do with the building, but we knew we wanted gravel or, you know, we wanted gravel or rocks initially, but. We just leave our, then we can leave our shoes out here if we make this a nice little room. Yeah. You know, and then we don't track dirt into the cabin, so. Ah, that would be nice. And in the winter, it could be like an Arctic thing. Yeah, it can. So it'll probably no, end up being more no elaborate. Snow. No snow in the winter inside, which would be nice because it's better for the floors. It'll be, it'll end up more elaborate than we originally planned. Cause just that's like about, us. <laughs> that's about how it heads up. It's supposed to just be like a little open, open area with, you know, a roof over it. And it'll end up being something elaborate. So exciting. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> Pretty cool guys. So step one of the first big project of this summer. Worked out good. So, so. We, might, we might not build right away on this guys. We'll probably start on the pole barn. We got soffits to do still. So first big project of the summer. Now that we got the gardens all situated and they can grow throughout the summer while we build. Yes. So thanks for tuning in guys. We appreciate you. Hit that thumbs up button for us, please. Let and us know what you think of our dry concrete pour. Yep. And thanks to uh, Cajun Country for the video, making the video and responding and, to our emails we appreciate it yeah. a lot so thank you guys all right have a great night guys best wishes bye we got a dance platform now all right happy there you go happy dance <laughs> do the happy dance can't do it I do the happy dance <laughs> aren't i a lucky guy <laughs> Oh, uh,